Nice. XDS. Six rounds. Nice uh, payload in a small package, but it'd be nice to have a couple more rounds, wouldn't it? <laughs> like that in a 9mm. Yes, XDS is out now in 9mm, and we thought we'd bring it to you, let you take a look at it. Uh, very much like the 45. In fact, the same size gun exactly, except the hole in the barrel is just a little bit smaller. We'll probably show it to you. Would you like to see that? Because I know most of you have never seen a 9mm, right? There you go. Let's take the other one apart, keep them separate, so we don't mix up parts, end up with a Frankenstein gun that doesn't work properly. There you go. Okay, that's the difference in weight. <laughs> that's the difference in caliber. The uh, 9mm version of the XDS is uh, about one pound, about one pound. <laughs> the uh, 9mm is a pound heavier. Can you guess why, boys and girls? If you cannot figure out why this barrel is heavier than that barrel, uh, come on now, come on now, what grade are you in? Uh, because you have less metal removed from this one, don't you? It has a smaller hole in it. Let's keep them straight. There's the nine, there's a the 45. So yeah, we're gonna talk about the XDS, the new one, and nine millimeter. Uh, Springfield was kind enough to send me one uh, as a T&E gun. Test and evaluation. We get that question a lot. What's that stand for? And uh, so we have been testing and evaluating, and uh, so far so good. It uh, it shoots fine. Has a better trigger than the uh, 45 version. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you. Maybe it's uh, maybe they've just done some improvement on the triggers. This trigger. Uh, actually, the guns are are known, I think, for having a nice trigger and reset and everything. And this one is even better. Uh, so I don't know if they're all like that, but I love the trigger on this baby. I really do. So nine millimeter, I'll put the other one together. It holds uh, seven rounds in the standard flush magazine. And it, uh, the 45, as you know, you recall, holds a five in the flush magazine. Here's the magazine for it. See, it even has a five on it for dummies like me. And the 9mm magazine has a 7 on it for dummies like me. So I can uh, count and keep track of how many rounds I'm able to, to carry and, and put in the magazine. So you got 7 plus 1 or 5 plus 1 uh, there. Now this isn't necessarily a, a big comparison uh, uh, endeavor here, but I wanted to bring that one out too since we have it. I you know, purchased that one and uh, this one again is on loan and we'll, we'll decide. So far I like it. It shoots really well. It... Uh, it really does. I thought it was shooting left, and I'm not sure. I actually uh, drifted the, the rear sight a little bit and messed with it some. And I, I might have it just a hair to the, over to the right, as you can see. I, it seems to be shooting straight on now. Uh, I really do believe it might shoot a hair to the left, just not sure. It was before I put the talon grips on. And with a thin grip, I tend to want to pull. I don't know if you're like that. Uh, but I tend to pull a gun to the left if I'm not careful if the grip doesn't fill my hand at all If it's really thin I have to watch that and when I put the grips on uh, I don't know seem to help, but I I'm not sure yet, but I really took my time with it uh, You know Everybody a lot of people think their firearm shoots to the left. That's classic if you're right-handed, okay? And so as much as I shoot I really had to just get on paper and get on some steel that been painted and I mean, take my time and get a great trigger break and focus as best I possibly can. And it's still seen maybe go just a hair to the left, which is really rare for a fixed sight uh, one of these guns. Because all this stuff is done, you know, CNC machine and everything. So the verdict's not totally in on that, but it did seem to go a little bit to the left. Yeah, sure. All right. Seems to be on where I've got the sight. Okay. So. Why are we here? Oh, that existential question. Who knows? You know, we've got several others out here. We're going to uh, just do a little comparison. We've got the PM9. We've got the Nano. We even have the Glock 30S. And these guns are so popular now, aren't they? Uh, these slimline, single stack, 
9 millimeters uh, or 45 for that matter because of all the carry laws and, and so many states where it's legal now to carry and it's still legal it will be legal because we're making sure uh, aren't we uh, through our efforts uh, especially over the last few months we're not going to give up the right to carry we're not giving up that second amendment are we we, we work on it all of us you me John, all of us, we work on it uh, constantly, especially now. In fact, uh, I'm going to uh, Philadelphia a couple days, May 25th, for another uh, kind of a rally. Uh, so hope you're there if you live in the area. But we're, we're just not going to relax because being able to defend yourself and pick out a gun like this uh, that fits you, that you like, and uh, that you know could save you or your family's life someday, it's uh, it's a it's a it's a right, I start to say privilege, it's a right that we have in this country. We are not giving up, are we? And because of that, there are so many cool firearms that are available. You know, the Nano, the uh, PM9, uh, the Shield, which I don't have, uh, but we'll probably, uh, you know, get one of those back here uh, before too long. Uh, what else? Some of the SIG, what's a P938, I guess. There's so many nice little 9 millimeters now. You could call them pocket guns, but they're not necessarily pocket guns, are they? Uh, because they, they can be carried in lots of different ways. You notice I was carrying one of these XDSs in a pocket holster. This is an Alabama holster. You heard me brag about those. I like those a lot. And uh, great, it's got that little lip on it. You thumb it right out of there and it hooks on your pocket. So I love those. And, uh, and then I, on my uh, belt, I have, this is the only holster I have, I guess, like that for the XDS but it's a hidden hybrid holster so i like those kinds of holsters so i had uh, two different carry methods with with this gun i carried by the way the 45 much of last summer uh this one in in this holster pocket carry i did much of the summer partly i was experimenting to see if i could in cargo shorts pocket as i'm wearing now works okay prints just a little bit but uh but it's it's uh yeah it works it works it's a little big for that maybe but it works if you want okay i think i'll take a shot with this nine i actually have two magazines loaded we're shooting some hollow point uh pmc i found the gun show this week actually yesterday uh and i didn't realize it was hollow point i was you know the price wasn't too crazy and so I went ahead and bought four boxes of it. And uh, I got home and realized, uh, well, actually, we were dumping it in this thing today, and I realized it was hollow point. But uh, let's, uh, let's take a couple shots with this stuff. That's the 45. Keep them separate. Okay. Let's do it. There it is. All right. Am I missing a magazine? All right. You're seeing me be absent minded here. Here's the 45 mag. There's that mag. Got my. Uh, I didn't drop any of them. Okay, I just didn't load that one. I know what I did. Got to watch me here. Oh, that's not okay. It is. We got the. Let's just put the uh, 45. I'm gonna keep the 45 there so I don't get confused. You know, old guys like myself here. I got to watch myself. <laughs> okay, so I've got a mag pouch. The mag pouch comes with it. Uh, you know, you got those just like the standard XDS. Uh, you got the big suitcase that comes, and you get uh, two magazines. They actually sent me a third one, uh, which is a nine rounder. And then, of course, when you put it in, I'll go ahead and shoot it, show you. When you put it in, you know, extend your grip. Okay, so you get a big grip, which doesn't do anything for me, but I like that extra round count. All right. So let's take a few shots at it and again verify if these sights are on or if I'm on. I don't guess I've used that magazine. We'll assume it works. Let's try it on that two liter. Now, here's a paint can. It's about empty. All right. Oh, I like that. Nice reset. Really is. Let's go on over to the gong. <laughs> Try the red plate. I 
Not sure whether that hit or not. Sounds like it hit something. I guess they all hit something, don't they? <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. Just had to have a little pig before I ran out of ammo over there. <laughs> Yeah, they all hit something, unless you shoot them into space, and then they, I guess they could go on for a pretty good while. So, uh, that is, uh, that is pretty cool. Now, with these, if you're not familiar with these, and of course we have, uh, uh we have videos, I guess, on all these things, the Nano, the Car, the 30S, the Shield, uh, the SIG I brought up, uh, of course the 45 here, but you do get, uh, you get sights that are adjustable for windage, uh, you get your, your loaded chamber indicator, you know, right there, that, that uh, uh, looks like that if you have a round in the chamber okay and you have ambi uh, mag release okay that's actually there all the time you don't have to reverse it you got your grip safety which some people don't like of course but you do have that and uh, I have talon grips on it of course like I say I uh, they just make it feel so much better to me I have go ahead and put those on generally speaking I do use the rubber ones occasionally you notice anything that might be a pocket carry I tend to put the rubber ones on okay and uh, I wear out fewer pockets you got a little bit of rail there you uh, easy breakdown you already saw that I like the uh, the front sight. You know, those things just really jump out at you. You got your three dots and uh, your fiber optic up there, very clear. And uh, this one has a nice trigger. You do have a uh, replaceable back strap. There's a couple of choices. An extra one comes with you. I didn't change them out. They they feel okay to me as they are. The gun is thinner, and uh, it and that's kind of well. I load these. Let me tell you about that. These guns, they're not miniature. These XDSs, but they are thinner. Uh, that's where they excel in terms of, I guess, comparing them with uh, a lot of standard 9mm or 40 caliber SIGs, Glocks, m and any of those guns you want to talk about that are like uh, service grade size. Uh, they're just thinner. Uh, not a lot. They're not a lot thinner, but they're a little bit thinner. And for you folks that uh, don't have the option to carry, you don't carry in a holster, it's not legal or whatever. You're in a country uh, where you're lucky to even be able to shoot at a range, maybe somewhere. But for folks who carry in a holster, uh, particularly inside the waistband, there's a, it's a it's almost a phenomenon. It, it really is. As much as I have shot and carried, I still am surprised that there's that much difference when I put this gun in this holster. It uh, you know with this belt and these pants. I can tell the difference between carrying this and carrying, say, a Glock 19. And it's not like it's like that much thicker or something. It it's just strange that that it would make that much difference. For those of you who maybe don't even shoot, have a lot of experience with uh, with handguns, and, and you have with rifles and shotguns, it's similar to if you add that much to the stock of a rifle or a shotgun. You think, well, whoop de doo, that wouldn't make any difference. But it feels like a different gun, doesn't it? And there's just, uh, you just can't uh, overestimate uh, the difference that makes. Okay, let's talk about that a little bit. So, thickness. Okay, so some of these guns that you might be entertaining the notion of buying. Here's the, let's clamp it in on the XDS. Okay, I'm going to take that off. And let's uh, put it on the car. So you can compare. Most of us are familiar with the PM9. Notice it's about the same. Okay, no gap there. Now the frame, it holds up a little bit on the frame. Slide uh, is the same. The uh, open it up for the frame, and you know you got a little more opening. Frame just a tad, not not enough uh, for any practical purposes to be different. Okay, so those are about the same thickness, and that might surprise you because it seems like a much bigger gun, and it is, isn't it? Look at that, PM9 again, and uh, that that's yeah, it's longer. And uh, the grip is a little bit bigger. That's why it holds another round. PM9 holds six, and the XDS holds seven. So, same thickness, essentially the same thickness, but uh, you got a bigger gun with the XDS. Okay. Uh, now, the, the when you get to the Nano, the Nano is just it's a little thicker. Let me well, let me put it on the Nano. 
nano is a thin gun and it, you notice the nano is cool it's all the same right there exactly like you carved that out of clay it's all the same thickness so we got that tight on there and if we put that on the uh, xds uh you know not much difference really not much difference i was thinking i was thicker let me squeeze it on this and then because i know before and then I, it wouldn't quite go on but it's just it's not much different though it, they're about the same this is just a tad thicker okay in fact i could try it in this holster that tells me something too yeah it fits in that holster so it might be a little thicker but it not enough to mount anything okay so in terms of thickness we're talking about the same basically difference you see the glock now the glock you know and this is a nine millimeter size glock and, you know this 45 is this xds so think of Glock 19, Glock uh, 23 or something, Glock 26, and you see the difference there. That's the difference that makes a difference right there. Now you would think that wouldn't matter, and it doesn't, you know, it's not a deal killer or anything, but it does make a difference in the, in the convenience and the comfort of, of putting one of these inside the waistband. It really does. <laughs> you may have to try it before you fully believe me. But if you pull out a holster for, for this and one for these and put them on and change out, same belt, same pants, you'll be surprised, okay? So I think I said in one video, on days if I'm feeling fat, extra fat or feeling fat, uh, I, might, I might feel like a gun like this is what I want to wear. It's just, I don't know, it just fits my belt better, okay? Let's look at weight, okay? But first, let me take a couple more shots with it because I am enjoying this gun. And I like it. We're back into the uh, summer weather here. I do have some anti-fog on my glasses. You know, I'm getting smart. After four years, I started to, I found some at a gun show. That probably explains it, right? Since I don't go anywhere but gun shows. So let's try a couple more rounds here. XDS, nine millimeter. I think the slide and barrel are about 3.3 inches long. Uh, I'm not sure where I got that idea, but I believe that's about the length of it. What do you think? You know what? That two liter has too much liquid in it remaining. Yeah, okay, that's better. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, let's try a pig over there while I'm enjoying this gun. Oh, I thought I hit it. Yeah, I aimed twice. Maybe not. Yeah, Mr. Terry, well, let's just go for the chicken. Let's see if the sights are on, or if I'm on. All right, John will have to finish him off. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you what, that thing's a shooter. Feels good, feels good. Let's turn him loose here a little bit, just uh, put him back in the holster and uh, pull him out. Oh, too much missing there to begin with. Let's try that again. I gotta watch these thin guns. better <laughs> nice nice let's weigh these things give you an idea on weight now again uh, one reason we go maybe a little bit uh, more into comparing on on these is because all these little measurements and, and weights and everything are a little more critical with these sorts of firearms okay let's turn on the old uh, sharper image I bought another one we left the other one out in the rain okay 1.658, all right, so there's the weight. I believe that's what I was getting before. Verify that, yep, 1.658. All right, oh, before we go to the other guns, you might find it interesting, again, like I mentioned it, but I'm putting empty mags in these now. Uh, the 45 and the XDS, see, a little bit less. What, 1.5 and three quarters, I believe is what I was getting, yeah. Okay. Verify, yeah. There you go. Bigger hole, less metal. Okay. So uh, nine millimeter, back to nine millimeter. We got 1.658. 
Okay, let's go with the PM9. 1.658 is what we just saw. Wow, we got 1.058. Okay, so we are lighter in a PM9. Okay, that's the lightest gun out here. The, uh, sure we're empty, yep, on the uh, Nano. There you go. 1.4. Help me read my angle, but you see it's heavier as well. Right again. Okay. So, in terms of weight, the PM9 wins that race, doesn't it? Uh, it's smaller and it holds one less round, of course. Uh, the, it holds uh, six in the magazine, as uh, does the, the Nano. So, we're talking about six rounds, six plus one. With this gun, you get uh, the 9mm XDS, you get seven plus one. Yeah, seven plus one, six plus one on these. So you give up a round. And of course the size, there's a, there's a good bit of size differential which we showed you there. Uh, it's decisions, decisions, huh? It really is. <laughs> it just comes down to how you're gonna carry it and that sort of thing. Now let me give you my impression, my opinion. I think the XDS's, you might do like I have done I was telling you the truth. I did carry it in a pocket, the 45, last summer a lot. Uh, I kind of missed my PM9 though at times, and uh, I think this summer I'm going to carry the PM9 probably. I might carry this some. I don't know, but uh, it's a little large for general pocket carry, depending on your pocket. If you're wearing jeans, it probably is especially. But with nice cargo pants, you can get by. I mean, if you carry something down here, you can get by with a Glock 23 or something, or 19, you know. But it's flopping around and doesn't work too well. And I covered some of that in, in some of our, uh, in, you know, uh, legal carry videos. But uh, these will work. That's the wrong one. Uh, they will work. They're pretty big. And they're going to print probably, you know, uh, just a pen. I don't know how much that matters these days. You know, is it a big uh, revelation? If you realize, uh-oh, that guy's carrying a firearm, how horrible. Well, how many million people in Tennessee are carrying a firearm or in the country now? You know, so it's not necessarily a, you know, a big, big, big deal. But, but anyway, it's not like you have to worry and stay up at night worried about someone might spot it because it's perfectly legal. Uh, but I think my opinion is this is better as well as the shield. These two guns are really close in size, the shield and this gun they they uh, excel i think as a as a belt uh, gun just like that uh, because they they really can seal well they're very small very comfortable and there's a multitude of holsters as you've seen that you can you can get for them and you know the super tucks and all these things and, and different different manners and it's really a small gun on the belt it's very small and you still have a real gun you could even have it in 45 if you want you know so I, I look at this more as a belt gun uh, moving from the pocket, whereas the PM9, even for some people, they think that's a little large for the pocket, but I think it does pretty well in the pocket. Uh, then again, when you get to a gun, once you get to the belt, if you're going to carry it on your belt, well, that opens up a whole other world, doesn't it? We, we've covered some of this, but then how much harder is it to carry a gun this size? See? Our Glock 27, 26, Glock 19, Glock 23. Uh, not a lot harder to carry it if you're going to get a nice holster on your belt. Or 1911, any number of you know M&Ps or SIGs. You know, I can name a lot of guns, of course, a lot, a lot of uh, nice pistols. Uh, so then you have to make that decision. Okay, yeah, it is comfortable to carry. Yeah, probably is better to carry on the belt. It's just big enough. It's it's a nice belt gun. Uh, but then that takes you into a new arena and uh, with a lot of possibilities. So you have to ask yourself, okay, is, am I comfortable with just seven plus one, you know, or five plus one in the 45, if I'm gonna carry it on my belt, like a real pistol, okay? Uh, so those capacity arguments, those caliber arguments, uh, I can't make the, those, uh, I can't solve that problem for you. I can't obviously make that decision because everybody looks at it differently. Uh, you know, and I haven't come to a final <laughs> conclusion on that myself. I have no problem with a 9mm uh, or a 45 or a 40. Uh, so you have to decide whether capacity is of uh, utmost importance to you or, or size of the bullet, caliber, you know, it's up to you. That kind of gives you some of my impressions of it.
As far as, as the shootability of this gun, I'm going to have to shoot a couple more times before we, uh, before we wrap it up because I'm just enjoying this gun a little bit too much. Uh, this thing has a really nice trigger and it, uh, it just feels good in the hand. I think I've got the sights right where they need to be. And uh, it would be a, a worthy choice to carry, no doubt about it. One of the advantages of uh, a 9, of course, is it is really shootable. Most people can handle the, the recoil without any trouble. And, you know, if you've got a good trigger and the gun fits your hand, that's hard to beat, isn't it? Let's shoot those. Let's get the right one. Yep, 9 millimeter. All right, put that one in the pouch. Let's just go down here and take a couple shots on the, on the steel. All right. So, I think the cowboy needs a couple more shots on him. All right. Feels pretty good. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, obviously Springfield has... Uh, you know, produced a really nice series here. Now you have the option, two different calibers. And uh, as, as have some other manufacturers, uh, finally gotten the, the, I don't know, the picture, gotten the, uh, the message that a lot of people want a single stack nine millimeter. And you really, you could do a lot worse. I'll tell you what, in this one right here, it feels really good. Life is good. Mm -hmm.